Okay, good evening and welcome to Ian Mitzion. Today we're analyzing Chala, Perek Dalid, Mishnah Vav. Mishnah Vav says, even though normally, that's how we've learned previously in the Masech, when you take off Chala, you can't take off Minat Torah al Tameh, you can't take off Shalom and Amukah, you can't take off Minat Yafa al Um You can't do these things. In the case of Demai, where the, the dough is made out of Demai, we're not sure if Shumas Mice were taken off. Now, Mido Raisa, we consider Demai to have Shumas Mice was taken off. Rov Ame Aris Maishne, and Rav says. He argues that I'm by. Rov Ame Aris Maishne, and Rav says. Rav says. <coughs> so we assume, go after Rov, that Shumas Mice were taken off. Nonetheless, for Mahmir, I have to take off Shumas Mice yourself. You can keep some of them for yourself, um, as long as it's not Shumas or Shumas Mice, but you have to take it off, the Mahfresh. Now, when it comes to truma, there's different, a lot of halakhas we learn in the Trumos, trumas. Um, you can't take off minaral yaf, yaf al ra. You can't take off minatar al tam, minatar al tam tor. You can't take off, right? All these things, these are damn dal raisa. Because the idea of trumas and maisa is basically, I explained, basically the income, you're providing income for kohanim, levim, aniyim. You're providing welfare for people. It's a tax on your produce that you should give to people who don't have their own have a way of getting their own food or they're unsuccessful in getting their own living, producing their own living. So it's like welfare for other people. It's a tax system of the Torah incorporated uh, into the Torah. <clears throat> so basically, uh, it has to be a fair system. So if I take off too much Torah and I'm giving Torah to one calling and coming to another calling, or, you know, so... It has to be fair. You want to make sure everyone has welfare. You know, welfare you give equally to everybody. Every poor person, every coin you want to give equally to, to make sure they get the same thing. So therefore, you're not supposed to take yafal al ra because the ra is going to go, you know, part of the ra is going to go to one coin. Yaf is going to go to a different coin. It has to be fair system. However, when it comes to chala, mitzvah of chala, chala, as I mentioned, is not a tax or a welfare tax. It's basically um, thanksgiving to Hashem, to Hashem, to give thanksgiving to Hashem, and He gave you such nice bread, and you're making, you're using the bread, to, you're using the wheat to make such an honorary meal with your a lot of dough that you're making a lot of a lot of challah rolls, bilkalach for your for your wedding meal, your chasidish wedding meal. So um, it's basically thanksgiving to Hashem. So you're right because chal is similar to truma, and the fact they both carry misu Shamayim. They're both matnas kahuna, even though the, the reason you give them the kohen are totally different. Because truma, you give it to the kohen, the kohen should have. Kali gives to the kohen as a shliach of Hashem, really. The kohen represents Hashem, so to speak. They're the, the ovde Hashem, the service service of Hashem in the base of Megdash. So you give them as a shliach of Hashem. The shliach of Hashem, they're just the, the, the they, they accept your gift on behalf of Hashem. So therefore, yes, even though they're similar, truma and Kali, you give it to the kohanim. However, these are only comparisons between the and their machmir and chala because they're similar. The machmir, they shouldn't take Torah al tame, shouldn't take Yafa al ra. But at the end of the day, Torah al tame, you're not losing Hashem, right? You're giving more Torah than tame, or more Yafa than ra. When it comes to Kohanim, if you continue in this manner, you probably give a good portion to one and a bad portion to the other. By Hakadosh Baruch Hu, as long as Right, you're taking a Torah al Tame, there's no reason to worry about that because Hashem's getting double from Torah and none from the Tame. As long as it's going to end up in favor of Hashem, Hashem doesn't care that you might, you know, make a mistake in a different time. He's already given double over here. So it's just a, a question of giving to Hashem, only giving to one person to Hashem. So ostensibly, it's not going to lead to a situation where you're taking and giving Tame or you're giving Saruach, giving something um, un, unedible to somebody else or, you know, discussing to somebody else. So it's not a welfare system. Everyone has to be equal. You're giving to Hashem. So they weren't gozer. By Chala, they weren't gozer. Torah, Al-Tame, Yafel, Arad, they weren't gozer. I mean, Darabonim, even the rights that applied by Truma. By, it's only Darabonim. Right? And, and the same thing, Minam Mukhaf, we'll have to explain more, hopefully, before the end of the Sefta. Mukhaf is, most Rishon was assumed it's only Adin Darabonim. It's a Chumar Darabonim. Uh, because the reason being that if you take off from one uh, dough on a dough in a different room, you might forget or something like that. So, but if I want to take off Shulman and Mukhaf double now for a different one, so maybe I'll forget a different time. But right now, I gave double. So, at the end of the day, Hashem is really benefiting. Hashem is not going to lose out. So, that's where we're makal over here. Um, all these chumras are negated in the makam of Demai, which is really a suffix. 
uh, to begin with. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.